What's up guys, Flashfire here, and today we are going to be using one of the worst teams I have ever built that sometimes six O's people. It's going to be great fun. If you guys are hyped for this session, please remember to drop a like down below. 50 likes will get you a placement of this team down in the description. Now, this is a hyper offense um, dark spam team, which is something that I'm not really sure about. Um, it, it's one of those teams where it either does obnoxiously well or it just gets completely destroyed. Uh, I tried to record with this a little while back while I was at 1600 on the ladder. Now that the ladder's been reset, I think I'm sitting around 12 or 13. Um, so this should hopefully do a little bit better than it would have done up high ladder. But basically the idea is you stack hazards with the Ferrothorn, you block spin with Gengar, and you punish Defog with Bishop, and then you just use momentum and power to kill the opponent. That's the game plan. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it's awful. We're going to see how it goes right now. We are playing in the Mega Sableye and Shadow Tag Suspect test, but I'm going to look for some battles right now. I will cut to when I find one. As always, guys, I keep forgetting to mention this at the start of the video, but if you um, if you have any suggestions for what I can use in OU in the future, team-wise, uh, leave them down in the comments. I want to know what you guys want to see me play with. But, looking at my opponent's team right here, likely leads include Metacham and my crying. Um... Let's see here. He doesn't appear to have spin unless the Scizor has Defog. Um, so I'm very tempted to do... Well, no. This seems to be a better lead. In all honesty. The issue with this team is it doesn't like things and also stuff. Actually, this has Focus Sash. Sorry, I built this team a little while back, so I don't entirely know all of the sets. I'm going to lead off with Gengar right here, as he does lead off with the Sylveon, which is pretty good for me, because we can click the Sludge Wave and just have a good time. We don't really have a switch into Sylveon. I kind of want to keep the Focus Sash intact to be like, haha, but it's not really worth it, to be honest. So we're just going to Sludge Wave, get some huge damage off on this guy. Uh, like I said, this team is very, very offensive. That appears to be Spec Sylveon. Uh, but yeah, this team is very, very offensive, so we don't really have any switches into stuff. Uh, if he wants to go to Sizzle, we just go to Ferrothorn, I think. <laughs> Battleborn, I like that. Uh, this could be um, SD, and that would basically ruin my day. But I'm hoping it's not. I'm really hoping it's not. Um, and he does just go for the bullet punch. He's going to take some serious damage right there. I don't remember if we're Rocky Helmet. We are leftovers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to throw rocks at him. Yes. Stack the hazards. Stack the hazards. Um, issue is, this is Scizor, and he didn't Mega, which is interesting. Um, yes. Hello. <laughs> A sub. Yes. Success. <laughs> we found people. Um, okay, so this guy is here. He's probably got Fire Blast. Um, I kind of want to switch in Starmie. Because Ice Beams. Um... <laughs> it's left chuck, I like that. That's good. That's a solid reference. I'm a fan of that. Um, what are we going to do here? I want to fear the fire blast, but I also want to fear the rocks. I'm going to go into this. He can't really punish me for spinning. Uh, and he does go for the fire blast. That's fantastic. I was strongly considering switching into the Gengar on the Earthquake, and I'm glad I didn't. So we can Ice Beam right here pretty safely. Um... I wanna, I wanna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk to him, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, it's too, it's too weird, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, Rotom took, you know, about the right amount of damage right there, so, that's a thing. I don't think he's going to uh, Hydro Pump right here, he's either gonna Volt Switch or, I have Static Manetric, No! No! I have Static Manetric, where's the Lightning Rod? Ah! That's so bad! Oh no! Oh, I could punish him so hard right here, but now I can't punish him so hard. God damn it. If I got overheat, I have got overheat. Oh. I could have punished him, and now I can't punish him because I'm stupid. God damn it. Um, so I officially have no switch into this guy now. God damn it. He's gonna Volt Switch, and I wanna do- I'm so sad. I guess I'm just gonna go into Manectric anyway. God damn it! He did just Willow, so that's fine. But if he'd freaking Volt Switch and I wasn't... 
I'd have been very, very upset. I think I just Volt Switch here, though. Because uh, I think Rocks plus HP Ice takes out the Chomp, possibly. I don't know. I'm just going to Volt Switch. We're going to see what happens. We should outspeed this dude. And we should be able to get Volt Switch off, which would be lovely. He does stay in. We're going to get some nice, nice damage on this guy. I don't know. No. Thunderbolt wouldn't have killed from that range at all. Um, so we can, I think, just go into Ferrothorn right here. Um, I kind of want to preserve the Gengar because it's going to be pretty good. Um, because it, it basically just gets a free kill on the Breloom. Uh, he does go for the Hydra there, which is lovely for me. Because he's probably just going to, like, do stuff to me, like burn me, and I'm going to Leech Seed. Uh, he does Willow. That's, the, that's exactly the stuff I was expecting him to do to me. So we can get a Leech Seed off, have a good time, throw out some spikes, just generally be pretty happy with ourselves, because the Hazard Stacking is working, everybody. It's happening. Uh, Metacham is a thing, but hazards and stuff. Yay. <laughs> we don't have a switch into this guy. Do we just sack Gengar? Oh, he's going to fake out or he's going to... Oh, dude, plays. Bad plays, mate. Bad plays. Immune to two of the things you could want to hit me with. Two of the only things you would want to click. High jump kick's the only thing you'd want to click. He missed the Zen hat. Oh. That actually really matters. That was a good prediction, though. Man, I am... That really sucks for him. That really, really sucks for him because now I get a free Shadow Ball. Unless he has... He doesn't. Okay. So... Flesh Ribbons, the Sylveon goes down. Is that my Sylveon nickname? No, I call my Mew Ribbons, right? I don't know. Um, I like Personal Hygiene. That's funny. Okay, so he's most likely going to Bullet Punch right here. If he does want to Defog, I really want to go into Bishop. Um... Because I'm pretty sure we kill with a... Is he Mega? He's got to be Mega. So we can't kill him. Which means, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to box spin. I think I do just go for Shadow Ball. Yeah. Manectric's actually really safe. No, I'm going to Shadow Ball. I prefer Shadow Ball. He did defog, I'm pretty sure. Possibly U-turn. Yeah, okay. Good. The Bishop was really tempting. I'm glad I didn't go into it. Or the Manectric, actually. Either would have been pretty bad for me. Um, but I'm pretty sure this dies upon switching now, which is awesome. Dude, Hazard Stack, man. Hazard Stack. We've lost our Spin Blocker, but my opponent doesn't have a Spin Blocker. <laughs> we have lost our easy, easy um, Brelin counter, though, which is very, very sad. Okay, so if this is... T oh, wait, no, we just do this, right? Yeah. We kill whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we just do this. We're happy, we're happy. There's no way he's Scarf, right? Scarf Fire Blast? No. No. That's not real. That's not real. I love Left Shark, by the way. I might actually steal that nickname. That's such a good nickname. <laughs> I love that nickname. Okay. Starmie the MVP, though. I l this team is so fun. Like, when it works, it's just like, haha, yeah. But when it doesn't, it's really sad. It's, like, so depressing. You lose so hard so fast. <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, I built this team because someone asked me to use Crawdon, and I was like, you know what, it'd be fun. Crawdon and Bishop. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're at, basically. Okay, so... Starmie literally kills his whole team from here. Um, which means I want to keep it relatively healthy. And I think he's going to fake out. So... I'm going to Ferrothorn him. And he does fake out. We get some nice damage on him right there. Hopefully he doesn't have Drain Punch. Uh, because that would be pretty sad. He hasn't shown high jump kick, so it's entirely possible that he does have it. Um, I think I'm just going to leech seed here, though. Or do I spike? I think I'm going to spike. Am I going to spike? Spike guarantees the sizzle dies on switching. I don't know if it does at this point. 12 plus, like, 3? I don't know how much spikes do. I don't use them enough, because I'm not a horrible person. Okay, so he shows that he does have high jump kick over drain punch, which is lovely, lovely information to have, even though I don't think it actually matters at this point. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy kills from this range. If he doesn't, I will be blown away. Literally, literally just blown back by a high jump kick. But uh, I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt kills from this range. If it doesn't, I just cry. Uh, but we should be pretty good even if it doesn't because... Scizor will die to a stiff breeze if he doesn't die to entry hazards. This thing goes down real easy. Uh... Fake out is definitely a thing, but I'm not too worried about it, I don't think. I don't think I'm too fussed about fake out. 
the issue is that Breloom makes me sad. But yeah, pretty much Starmie wins from this from this position. Um, kills the Metacham with Psy Shock, I'm pretty sure. Kills the Breloom with Ice Beam. I think I die to Mac Punch here. Uh, but is that really an issue? I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. I'm just going to overheat. Oh, wow, okay. I Apparently I'm sneaky bulky. I didn't even know. You're so sneaky bulky, you didn't even know it. And that's that's where I'm at right now. Dude, Hazard Stack worked! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hazard Stack worked, I'm so happy. Um, so Fake Out's gonna take me out, and I don't even care because this and this win. So which is gonna Thunderbolt you? He's given up. Yeah, dark spam, dark spam. It worked, hooray! This team is so fun. It's so fun. Oh no, it's a real team. I mean, the other team was a real team as well, but this team doesn't look like a good matchup for me. Um. It's probably a Garchomp lead. Or a Klefki lead. I put Lightning Roll on this good. I think it's probably a Garchomp lead. If it's a Klefki lead, I'm switching straight into Manectric, but this leads off really nicely against Garchomp, so. Hooper. Not what I expected. Ah, uh, I don't have a switch into you. What are you gonna do, actually? Eh, it doesn't matter. I probably don't have a switch in. It's likely that I have no switch into you. It's likely that this team is going to get 6 0 right now. Let's go to Ferrothon. If he subs on Nasty Plots, I'm really sad, but I don't think he will. Yeah, Dark Pulse. Doesn't quite 2 hit KO, surprisingly. Okay, so he's using the best Hooper set, which is very concerning indeed. I need to set Stealth Rocks against this, guy, against this guy's team, so I'm just going to do that. I'm pretty sure Drain Punch doesn't kill me from this range. We are going to get our Stealth Rocks up against his Garchomp, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Fire Blast is definitely a thing that can happen right now, as we saw before, so we're going to go straight out into Starmie. On the Stealth Rock, which is absolutely fine, because we can Ice Beam here. Uh, and just be... Uh, do I Rapid Spin? I got Ice Beam. Um, take him out? Lovely. I was... Ser crit did not matter there. I was seriously considering the Rapid Spin there, which, and I'm glad that I didn't do it, because that would have been really, really sad for me. Would have been really very sad for me. Klefki is here. Possible Thunder Wave incoming. Um, definitely a Manectric on my end. Because I don't want to deal with that shit. And we get plus one. Hell yeah! Hell freaking yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's going to have Light Screen. But I don't even care at this point. I'm just happy. Plus one Thunderbolt, boys. Let's go. Let's go with this plus one Thunderbolt. And of course, we get... Oh, he's going to Hazard Stack me back. What a douche. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this. Ah, stop it! Go away. Hazard stack is actually really gross, but um, we don't kill you at plus one. There's no way. There's no way he defogs either. So I'm gonna go to Ferrothorn right here, I think. And I guess I don't know. Leech seed him. We do eat that up, which is pretty nice. I guess we Leech Seed, yeah. Shows the Life Orb, which is nice to know. Um, I think Leech Seed's the best player, yeah. Because he can't stay in, he doesn't kill me. Um, and it should help us force out whatever he brings in. This... Alright, that didn't make that much difference. It would have got a little bit more damage on this guy. Probably doesn't make too much difference in the long run, though. So we're going to set Spikes here, I guess. Um, and then we're going to go for that nice, powerful Rapid Spin when we go down. I'm sure... Oh, he... I'm super surprised he didn't Rapid Spin there. Um, oh, I could go into Gengar here, actually, and block the spin. I forgot about this being a thing, completely. Uh, he didn't defog... Well, no, he had no reason to defog. I really think he has spin. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Okay, so he probably doesn't have defog, which is delightful. Uh, and Sludge Wave does the most damage to his team, so let's go. Should 2 it KO does. Can he KO me? Nope. Cool. Uh, Sludge Wave again. Yeah, boys. Yes, boys. Yes. We kept our hazards up. 
We have succeeded in hazard stacking. And I'm happy about it. Um, we could have issues with that talent flame, though, actually. I didn't think of that. Hmm. That could be a problem. You don't have spear. You don't have defog. You're not real. We're winning the speed tie as well, so it doesn't... We actually did. <laughs> yes. Dude, it's all about confidence. The key to winning speed ties is being confident that you're winning the speed tie. That's how you do it. That's just how you do it. I don't see the problem. <laughs> We're going to grab another one. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this team. It's great. Okay. Uh, he has like three leads there. What's it? That's got to be like some kind of offensive Gliscor, right? Or maybe Mega Tita. Like, there's just no... That team is just like nothing. It's just not a... Th is it... I... What's his win condition? Because that's not a stall team. That's either going to be Subtoxic or SD Gliscor, I can only assume, and possibly Mega Tita. Um, I would assume Choice Scarf Kelio, because that would be his only real fast thing, unless he has Scarf Tita. I don't know. This team confuses me. Um, I guess we leave Manectric. That doesn't seem to be a punish for it. Yeah. Uh... Heat round, that's fine. We just Volt Switch off of you. Do I want to keep my Mega? No, I don't. So we just Volt Switch off of you. If he wants to go Gliscor, that's absolutely fine because we'll intimidate him. We'll live an Earthquake. And whether he's Spadaf or not, we can kill him with two HP Ices. Um, so that's fine by me. I'm like 90% sure he can't KO me with an EQ here. Unless he's offensively invested, which I doubt he is. And even then, I don't think even like Excadrill kills without... Yeah, so I don't know. Hey, right. what's what's going on? What's happening? We're just back in the same position, dude. <laughs> I'm so, I'm proud of you. I, d I don't really know. That was weird. Um, we could go to this guy, I guess. Doesn't really do much though, because we don't kill with an aqua jet. I don't think. Um, I'm fairly certain he's gonna go for stealth rock. And Starmie is actually a really good switch into him, so we're gonna do this. Uh, ew, he actually Lava Plume. So I'm glad I did this instead of um, Cordon, because getting Cordon burned would have been horrible. So we're just going to Hydro right here. We want to put enough pressure on him. Well, he doesn't know that I'm putting pressure on him until he switches, but we use the Hydro Plume anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. We wouldn't have done any damage, but still, I'm annoyed. Uh, so this could be one of the occasions where we just lose real quick. But um, that happens. It does happen with this team. I did warn you guys. I did let you know. It's a definite possibility that that is going to happen. Uh, mainly because he has a switch. I dissed this team at the start, and I'm starting to regret that, because if I get beaten by it, I'll be really sad. So I'm just going to do the thing. I'm just going to stack hazards. We have a spinner. It's all good. Max he can do with hazards is 20... 30, right? And Starmie's at, like, enough to take that? Yeah. So we are going to have to spin at some point against not the Ferrothorn, which could be difficult. But we're going to set rocks right here, because rocks are fantastic and lovely and delightful. And there is no reason for him not to Lava Plume this turn, so I am going to go into Crawdon and hope he doesn't get two burns in a row, because that would be lame as shit. Um, and then I think we might actually knock off expecting his Ferrothorn. Actually, the Keldy is a really good switch for him as well. Does set rocks there, which is annoying, but do I just Crab Hammer? Crab Hammer does two hit KO Keldeo, I'm pretty sure. Um, and if he goes into Ferrothorn, Crab Hammer plus knockoff is going to do a lot of damage. So I am just going to Crab Hammer right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this two hit KOs Keldeo. Almost. Um, he's lefties, which means he could sub CM shenanigans me, and that would be very sad, but I think he's just going to Secret Sword here because it's safest for him. Uh, so I'm going to go into Gengar right here. And hope. There's the secret sword. Lovely. We did see lefties, so we know he's not going to be, like, choiced or anything. Um, I am just going to sludge wave here, I think. For damages. Um, I'm not sure if I'm in kill range right now. Of, I mean, I'm not sure if I can kill him from this range. Or if he can kill me from this range. I think Hydro would kill me from this range. But because we saw the leftovers, I doubt he has it. So... Hopefully he can't KO us, and that's a happy time. If he goes into the Pharaoh, we two-hit KO with Focus Blast. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. He has a very, very slow team. 
I'm not sure how I feel about that. Goes into the Gliscor. Yeah, that's a thing. Knockoff is also a thing, and I don't like it. So, um, we go into Ferrothorn here. Yeah. We go into Ferrothorn and hope he doesn't sub. No sub, good. Uh, Spike. Yes, Spike. This is going to be an interesting match. I more or less have to remove the Heat Ram before I can attempt to remove the Ferrothorn, which is very, very annoying. But he doesn't appear to have Hazards removal outside of the Latte, and he doesn't want to defog because of the Hazards I have up. Oh, the Hazards he has up, sorry. So we have completely Hazard stacked each other at this point. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to see what he wants to do. <laughs> Incredible. We're both like, no, you switch first. No, you switch first. I don't want to switch. You switch. So dumb. Jaro balling is such a bad play, though. Because I take damage, and he takes none. <laughs> no, you switch out. I really wish I had Alec because I am instead of Gengar right now. But, um. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> he has Rocky Helmet. I don't want a Gyro Ball. I don't want to switch anything into all these hazards and a Leech Seed. Okay, so he doesn't have Rocky Helmet, which leads me to believe it's probably Shed Shell. I could switch this guy in. It wouldn't be that bad. And we can focus Blast. Because otherwise this match is just going to go on forever. Like, literally forever. Uh, all we've seen is Spike and Leech Seed. I assume he has uh, Protect. We're going to focus Blast, though. Um, oh, he doesn't. He had a Jumble Berry. What a dickhead. <laughs> I'm so annoyed about that. Oh my god. He actually had a Chobbleberry. What a douche. Uh, okay, so we need to kill this Ferrothorn before we can spin, because otherwise spinning doesn't actually work. And we can't click Overheat because of that Heat Ram. He doesn't seem to be able to do any damage to me with this guy. So I could knock off here. He's probably going to go straight into the Keldeo, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's why I'm not going to Swords Dance, because it doesn't seem to make sense. Because I really think he is sub-CM Keldeo. This has been an interesting match. <laughs> the issue is that basically the only way I'm going to be a bulky team like this is to get all my hazards up, but I have to let him get all his hazards up, and now it's really tricky for me to spin and... My team gets worn down so fast. I don't think I've ever been in a match where both players have full hazards up. How did that do so little damage? Is he max defense Ferrothorn? That did nothing. That did obnoxiously little damage. Guys, I think I just lost. I think I just lost, guys. I'm so sad about it, but I think I did. Oh, we got a crit there. How did that first one do so little damage? It's outrageous. 27%. Like, what? Oh my god. My Manectric is gonna hate me. Does it have to be Manectric? It kind of does have to be Manectric. He hates me now. Look at all this damage, oh my god. Okay. Ow! We have to HP Ice. And hope it... Uh, no, it kills this. It kills this every time. And it outspeeds his entire team, which is something, I guess. The Latty comes through. Is he gonna defog? Let's find out together. He's Mega Latty. Interesting. Interesting indeed. 
so much damage. That's ridiculous. Okay, so what we need to do is let Ferrothorn go down and then spin. That's what we need to do. And then we're in a position to do well. I think. Maybe. I don't know how I'm going to kill the Latte, but we'll cross that bridge. Wait, do we even live hazard switching? I'm really hoping we do. We do. Okay, good. So I have to spin here. There's no other option. So he takes me out for free, basically. And I don't know that I have a way to kill this guy. I really wish I had sashed freaking... Um... Claudia at this point. Oh, it's taking damage anyway, never mind. Oh no, that's from hitting stuff though. I really wish I had a sash. Because now I just lose. So, you know, like I said guys, this does happen. Either this team steamrolls the opponent, or the opponent steamrolls this team. So I think that was a pretty even balance. Like, most of the time you can catch them with the, the amount of offense you can put on them. Normally that's enough. But in matches like this, I think I didn't play right. I think I focused too much on setting my hazards rather than dealing with his threats. The issue was, Heat Ran really, really deters Manectric from going for attacking moves. Especially as this team doesn't have a uh, Lava Plume switch in. Because, um, like, I want to kill the... The only thing to kill this the Ferrothorn on this team is Manectric with Overheat. And Shodan is lagging so much right now. The only way to kill... Uh, Ferrothorn is with overheat and the heat round just punishes you so much because a flash fire lava plume is just so so difficult for this team to take so yeah it kind of sucks but it happens okay so i'm just gonna forfeit right here there's no way i win this match yeah it's completely frozen uh so we're just gonna forfeit right here that is a accurate representation of the team guys it's it's kind of fun it's it, it's okay sometimes sometimes it's not I, t I said that going in. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like down below. If you get to 50, you will get a placement of the team, and it will be happy days. Um, remember to suggest stuff for me to use an OU in the future, and I will see you in the next one.